Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to look at the deep talk. The deep talk, whether uh, spoken English or the one we call the oral English. When you look at uh, the sounds on the board very well, you discover that we have two different pure voice sounds coming to form a single sound, just as we have it in A and E, making it to the A. We have the A and the E, I, and we have the O and the E, which is OI. So, when you have two different pure voice sounds coming together to form a singular sound, we refer to it as a diphthong. Now, we are going to look at the A sound. We we'll look at the description, at the position of the tongue. How does the lips and every other speech organs in the body, the position we take when you are articulating this particular sound called the E sound. So, as you can have the description of the bird, I put it here that to say the A sound, the front of your tongue moves from the position of saying A to the position of saying E. Moves from position of A to the position of E. The sound is therefore a combination of two pure vowel sounds, A and E. Your lips are spread when you say A sound. When you are able to pick up a mirror, you articulate this sound. When you look at your lips, you will discover what we are trying to say here. You look you will be able to see the description of your lips, how they are spread from this little drawing on the board. The mouth is a bit wide open. Yes, position of the lips. So, at the tongue and the mouth, this is the position it takes. Move front of tongue up. The front of the tongue is moved up when you articulate the A sound. The shape of the lips and the position of the tongue when pronouncing A sound. This is the shape of the lips and the position of the tongue when you are articulating the A sound. Now we discover the position that the jaw takes. The, the jaw moves up move jaw up when you are articulating it. And when you look at this very well, you will discover that we have some, uh, some words here where we can uh, articulate the A sound. Though it appears in different spellings, but the sound remains the same. Spelling the A sound. We have it in words that have A and E. You repeat after me. Mates. Mates. We have it in cake. Cake. We have it in late. Late. The A sound is articulated there. We also have the A sound in words that have letter A and R. As in paints, 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 faints, faints, aim, aim. Good. We have it in words, in some words that have the letter A as in fainter, fainter, neighbor, neighbor. We have it in paper, 
Theta. Theta. Mind you, this is different from the normal paper you know. So we also have the A sound in words that have the A letter and the Y letter in them. For example, we have it in clave. Clay. Lay. Lay. Slay. Slay. We have it in where they also have the letter E and Y. As in day. Day. Obey. Obey. Gray. Gray. Okay? We also look at another example. We also have this sound in words that have the E and the letter A. As in great. Great. Stake. Stake. Break. Break. We have it in letter E and R. As in way, way, eight, eight, rain, rain. So we have the unusual here. Words that you, if you are not careful, or if you don't have the knowledge of the A sound, it will be very difficult for you to know that the sound A is present in these words. For example, we have a word like gauge, 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 gay, gay, fate, fate, buckets, buckets, suede, suede. So these are some of the words that some examples, some few examples where the sound A can be articulated, words that have the sound A, these are some of the words you can have the A sound. So in the next lesson, we are going to look at the I sound and the OI sound. Thank you.